Here I am again presenting you another episode on carcinomas. The reason why I have chosen to make a separate video on carcinomas is because while I was preparing your next episode on lung cancer, yes, there's a bit of tip here, I realized that there was a lot of terminology on carcinomas that I liked you to understand before we go deeper into that later. In this episode, we will be talking about carcinomas and carcinoma types. In episode number one, which is called cancer types, I have mentioned briefly carcinomas there. I'd like you to watch that episode one more time before you watch this episode. I will put a link to episode number one to this video. So thank you so much for watching and here we go. Carcinomas are arise from epithelial tissue, which lines the inner and the outer surface of the body. If a carcinoma arises from a layered squamous epithelium, those carcinomas are called squamous cell carcinoma. But if carcinomas are arise from glandular epithelium, which means epithelium of the gland, then such carcinomas are called adenocarcinomas. However, there are cancer types which do not show any similarities to their tissue of origin. Such cancer types may be called anaplastic or undifferentiated. Before we go further into details about carcinoma types, I'd like to mention the frequency of carcinomas by organ type. More than 98% of all lung cancers are carcinomas. Nearly all breast cancers are ductal carcinoma, meaning that they are originating from the ducts of the glands. Adenocarcinoma is the most common form of prostate cancer. Almost all cancers of the colon and rectum are either adenocarcinoma or squamous cell carcinoma. Almost always, pancreatic carcinoma is adenocarcinoma type and it's highly lethal. Some carcinomas are named for their cell of origin, such as hepatocellular carcinoma or renal cell carcinoma. Hepatocellular carcinoma is a primary carcinoma of the liver cells. It is rare in North America and in Western Europe, but is one of the most common malignancies in parts of Sub-Saharan Africa, in Southeast Asia and in East Asia. Primary tumors are 6 to 10 times more prevalent in men than in women. They develop most often in the sixth decade of life and they are associated with cirrhosis of the liver in 70% of the cases. There is a strong association with chronic hepatitis B infection and there is an absolute but less strong association with hepatitis C infection. Renal cell carcinoma is the carcinoma of the renal parenchyma. By the way, ren means kidney, and when I say renal, it simply means kidney related. And parenchyma means in Greek visceral flesh, which refers to the functional parts of an organ in the body. Renal cell carcinoma occurs in the middle age or later, and the symptoms for this carcinoma type depend on the extent of its invasion. This may also be called adenocarcinoma of kidney or renal adenocarcinoma. Now let's talk about adenocarcinomas. What are adenocarcinomas and what are the types of adenocarcinomas? Adeno means gland and adenocarcinoma refers to a carcinoma of glandular tissue. In other words, this carcinoma type arises in cells that produces and secretes mucus and other fluids such as hormones and breast milk. Now let's have a closer look of adenocarcinomas. Adenocarcinoma in situ is a growth of abnormal glandular tissue that may become malignant. However, the abnormal cells do not extend beyond the basement membrane. It is most common in the endometrium, which means the inner lining of the uterus, and it is also seen in the large intestine. Adenocarcinoma of the kidney is also known as renal cell carcinoma, which we just have discussed. Adenocarcinoma of the lung is a type of bronchiogenic carcinoma which arises in bronchiolar mucosa. Most of these tumors form glandular structure that contain mucin. 
Mucin is a protein in mucus. Although few of these tumors lack mucin and they are solid. Growth is slow, but there is maybe an early invasion of blood and lymph vessels by metastases while the primary lesion is still asymptomatic. Asymptomatic means showing no symptoms. Adenocarcinoma of the uterus is also known as endometrial cancer. This type of cancer originates from the tissue that lines the uterus. As I mentioned before, endometrium means the inner lining of the uterus. So adenocarcinoma of the uterus or endometrial cancer is a carcinoma of the endometrium. Let's talk about squamous cell carcinoma. Squamous comes from the word squama, which means scale-like or plate-like. Squamous cell carcinoma is a slow-growing malignant tumor of squamous epithelium, which is frequently found in the lungs and the skin. Squamous cell carcinoma can also occur in the anus, cervix, larynx, nose, and bladder. This cancer type is also called epidermoid carcinoma. There is another type of squamous carcinoma, which is called adenosquamous carcinoma. This is a cancer that is a mixed tumor containing both adenocarcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma, in which each of these cell types consists of at least 10% of the tumor volume. Now, what are anaplastic carcinomas? Anaplastic carcinomas are heterogeneous group of high-grade carcinomas. In these heterogeneous carcinomas, cells do not show any characteristics of specifically differentiated cancers. These tumors are called anaplastic or undifferentiated carcinomas. There are also two types of carcinomas I like to mention here, which one is called large cell carcinoma and the other is called small cell carcinoma. These carcinoma types are more specific for the lung and we will be talking about these cancer types in more detail in the lung cancer episode. However, I like to mention them here very briefly. Large cell carcinomas are also called large cell lung carcinoma and are an aggressive type of carcinomas. Small cell carcinoma is also known as old cell carcinoma. However, they are also called small cell lung carcinoma and are also an aggressive type of cancer which usually occurs in the lung. Cancer cells of this type do not form bulky masses but rather spread within the tissue and body. Many lung cancers are this type and they are very hard to treat because they are not bulky but because they spread in the body and therefore long-term prognosis of this type of cancer is poor. But again, we will cover this type of cancer in more detail in our lung cancer episode. Thanks for watching everybody. We hope this was helpful to you. Please like and share this video with your friends and family. And comment down below. We will love to hear from you. You can also watch our other videos by clicking right here. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking right here. And once you have subscribed, don't forget to hit the bell so that you can be informed when we publish our next videos. So thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next episode. Take care.